What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 with the quickest and simplest way possible. But before we start, I want to let you guys know that I am gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the item shop. So if you want a chance to get a free gift from me, it can be basically whatever you want from the item shop, like any skin, bundle, back blank, pickaxe, wrap, emotes, anything from the item shop, including the battle pass. All you want to go ahead and do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below your Epic Games username, and use my supporter code, create a code in the item shop, which is actually called Kevin, K-A-V-U-N. I'm repeating this one more time. If you want a chance to get a free gift from me, it can be basically whatever you want from the item shop, like any skin, bundle, back, blank, pickaxe, wrap, emotes, anything from the item shop, including the battle pass. All you want to go ahead and do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below your Epic Games username, and use my supporter credit code in the item shop, which is actually called Kevin, K-A-V-U-N. Let's go ahead and quickly get into this video. I'm going to show you this brand new way to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite. And you don't need any alt accounts for this. You can do this with your own account, with like one single account, and get into bot lobbies in Fortnite with the quickest and simplest way possible. Let's go ahead and get started right now. So the first thing you want to basically go ahead and do is make your way to the main lobby of Fortnite Battle Royale, just like I am. So after you make your way over here, you're going to go ahead and see this button over here, just like this. So click on that button. And we'll say like text chat. This is the text chat. Mine is disabled, but it doesn't matter if it's disabled or not. So when you click on top of that, this is basically what we're gonna want to go ahead and do. You're gonna be typing in this code over here. So this is the first step. You have two steps. I'm gonna show you this first one right now. So we're gonna type in this code over here, which is basically https underscore, and then we're gonna type in this gif dot player username equals to and then putting your Fortnite username over here just like that. So this is my Fortnite username. I put in mine. You're going to put in yours. Slash. And you're going to type in these random numbers that don't really have a meaning. But they probably have a meaning as a password. Or they mean something in the coding. So you're going to type in these exact numbers over here. Make sure you guys do not type anything wrong. 4, 7, 0, 2, 8, 1, Five, three, zero, nine, one, six, three, four, and eight. So after you type in these codes over here, you're gonna put in another dot and type in testing lobby dot access. So after you type in this over here, just like that. And by the way, guys, testing lobby actually means bot lobby, but it's like you have to uh, write it like this over here. So this is the code you want to go ahead and type in. HTTPS underscore give player username equals to your Fortnite username and then these random numbers and then a dot and then testing lobby dot access. So, so after typing this over here, this is basically what we're gonna, what we're gonna want to go ahead and do. So this is the first step. We have another step we need to do and then after that we're gonna be able to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite Chapter Three Season Three. It's pretty simple, guys. Make sure you guys do not skip any parts of this video because everything I'm gonna be telling you is super super important. Let's go ahead and quickly get into the second step of uh, this way to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite. So after you type in this thing over here, just like let it stay over there and then click this button right up here on your screen, just right next to your online friends account. So when you click on that button, it'll go ahead and basically open up so many different tabs for you. So over here, we have this tab, some kind of a profile tab. You can see your skin over here. Under that one, we have this friends tab. You can see your joint little parties, your epic online, your away, your offline friends, all your friends over here in this uh, different tab. Under that one, we have this another tab called add friends. You can add friends. You can like uh, accept the invites of people or send invites to other people by typing in their display name. Under that one, we have this microphone icon which takes us to the voice chat tab we can do like voice options over here like voice chat voice volume voice method under that one we have another tab called uh, menu tab so when you click on this tab it will, it will go ahead and open up so many different tabs for you just like this like parental controls credits legal support code of conduct reporting slash feedback Fortnite crew and settings so when you see these tabs over here this is basically what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to choose settings from here after you guys make your way into the settings menu, just like that, you're going to find yourself in this tab called video, and you're going to see so many different tabs right up here on the screen as well. So in this video tab, you can do like the display, graphics, graphics, audio, all the kind of options right inside of this video tab. Just right next to that one, we have this other icon. When you click on it, it says game, and it's like you can do your language and region, movement, combat, building, options here inside of this game tab, just like that. Just right next to that one, we have another tab called Game UI. You can hear hot options here inside of this one. And then we have another icon over here. I'm going to click on that. It says Touch and Motion. You can hear your gyro options just right inside of this tab as well. 
You have this other tab over here called mouse and keyboard. You can do your mouse sensitivity, mouse flight, and tank settings here inside of this tab over here, just like that. And just right next to that one, we have another tab over here, which is basically called controller options. Here inside of this one, we can do like controller input, sensitivity, controller dead zone, all the kind of different controller options here inside of this tab. Just right next to that one, we have another uh, tab called audio. You can see like the speaker icon. Here you can do like volume, sound, voice chat, and all that, all that kind of options here inside of this audio tab just right next to that one we have another tab called keyboard controls you can do like your presets movement combat and building and like different kinds of options here inside of this tab just right next to that one we have another tab called wireless controller you can do a wireless controller settings here inside of this one and then we have another tab called account and privacy so you're going to make your way to this account and privacy tab just like i showed you so after you make your way over here just like i showed you you're going to see so many different sections called account social privacy gameplay privacy credits and legal inside of the, these sections we have these uh, settings called epic account id logout return requests player surveys mature language filter friend of app permission hide your link account names show text chat show social notifications can receive gifts party signal request to join show one career leaderboard anonymous mode show season level and feed hide other player names hit a matchmaking delay Fortnite credits and legal information. So, when you see these different settings over here, you're gonna find yourself this section called gameplay privacy. So, after you find this gameplay privacy section, just like I showed you here inside of this account and privacy tab inside of the Fortnite settings menu, you're gonna basically wanna go ahead and do this. You're gonna go ahead and see this setting called hidden matchmaking delay just right below hide other player names. So this is what we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do. When you when you put your cursor on a hidden matchmaking delay, it says creates a random small delay during matchmaking and hides matchmaking status updates to, to limit repeating game harassment. The random delay is chosen between zero and the number of seconds selected. Each attempt to play will randomly generate a delay. So this is basically what happens. When you choose this like any amount of seconds over here, it will go ahead and make you wait that amount of seconds before it starts to find a match. So we're gonna make sure this is on zero seconds just like I did, because if you don't put this on zero seconds, you're probably won't be able to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 so make sure you guys put this on zero seconds just like I showed you and then you'll be able to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 if you did the first step just like I showed you if you did that right you should be able to get into bot lobbies in Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 Let's go ahead and get out of here. So if you if you typed in this code right over here, just like just like I showed you, if you just changed this part, you should and you did the second step, just like I showed you, you should be able to get into bot lobbies here inside of Fortnite chapter 3 season 3. And there's one more uh, important thing that you can only do this in zero build modes, such as zero build solos, zero build duos, zero build trials, zero build squads. So you cannot actually do this in regular game modes, such as solo, duos, trials, squads, or uh, team rumble, or any kind of that. You can just like do this in only zero build modes, just like I told you, and you cannot do this in arena as well. So. Thank you guys for watching this video, and by the way, guys, thank you so much for 43,000 subscribers. That's a really crazy amount of subscribers. I would like to thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out any uploads from me. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you later in different videos. Bye.